Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I want to show you how to set up the GoScope 3 70mm. Uh, I think you'll find it's one of the easiest ones to set up. There's not a lot of parts and pieces, no tools needed. So let's just jump right in and get started. Alright, well the first step, uh, once you take everything out of the box, inventory it, make sure you've got everything here. Uh, I've uh, assembled it, laid it out here. So you've got the uh, tripod itself, here's the optical tube, the telescope, the 70mm, the accessories that come with it, uh, the diagonal, two eyepieces, low and high power, uh, finder scope, and the bracket, and then that all fits inside the backpack here. Well, the GoScope 3 is one of the more easy setups uh, of the telescopes that we've got. So the first step is the tripod. Um, you're going to extend it unless you want to sit on the ground when you assemble it. So I'll just lower the legs here. The head, um, you just loosen the um, altitude adjustment and you can raise it up like this, lock it back down. If you want more height out of it, you can loosen this elevator screw and then the head can extend as well. I'm going to extend it all the way so I can be standing when I show you how to assemble it. And then lock the various pieces back down and now you've got an assembled tripod. The next step is to attach the telescope to the tripod and you do that by using the quick release shoe uh, that's already installed on the tripod head. You've got to take it off and that's this lever here on the side. You loosen it, the tripod uh, uh, quick release shoe pops off. This attaches to your telescope or if you're using this um, tripod for something else, a camera or a spotting scope, you'd use this on the spotting scope. It uh, threads onto the bottom here and also make sure you get it in the right orientation. When this thing is on, the telescope is pointing this way, so it's the, the, the long side goes laterally across the uh, bottom of your telescope. Threads on using the quarter twenty screw, make sure it's nice and snug, hand tight, and then fold the little um, uh, lever down, the, the little handle down so it's not in the way. And then it just slips back into the head of the tripod and then lock down the lever on the side and you've got your telescope attached. Next you're ready for the finder scope. Um, you've got the optical tube of the finder, the bracket, and then the nuts on the side of the tube where it attaches. Uh, so just unscrew the little nuts off of the screw shafts. Don't lose them, They'll, they will bounce away from you. Slip the bracket over and it goes with the, um, the angle facing backwards like that. And then the nuts go back down onto the shafts. And then just tighten finger tight. And then you're ready for the optical tube. Loosen the three little set screws on the side so they're not um, encroaching onto the inside. Now you can slide the, let's see, I'll take the cap off, slide the finder scope through. About halfway is, is fine and then lock down the three little screws. Later, once you assemble the entire telescope, we'll align this because when you first put this on, it's not pointing at the same thing the telescope is, so it will have to be calibrated as a last step. The next step is the eyepiece and the diagonal onto the telescope. Uh, you've got two eyepieces, a 20 and a 9 millimeter. You're always going to start with the low power, which is a 20 millimeter. So you can loosen the set screw on the diagonal so it's not impinging onto the inside. Slide the uh, eyepiece inside and then tighten it down right here. Um, and just as an aside, when you swap eyepieces, you don't unscrew the eyepiece. Um, you loosen the little set screw and slip it in and out. Same, for the, same thing for the diagonal. It slips in here. It doesn't unscrew. Um, the, the individual pieces might unscrew for assembly, but you don't want to do that. So tighten the little set screws down. And then same thing here. Move the uh, uh, set screws so they're out of the way. Slide it in and then tighten it down. There's two of them on the focuser. All right, now it's time to align the finder telescope. Remember I said this is not aligned to the main uh, telescope during initial setup. I screwed this all down, but it's not pointing exactly parallel. So you've got to calibrate it so it is looking at the same thing. Otherwise, it'll be harder to find things in the sky when the crosshair in here is not lined up on the object that you see here. So the way you do that is to find some object off in the distance during the day, a tree, a power pole, uh, make sure it's a good amount away, like a quarter mile or more, uh, so you get rid of any parallax. Find it the hard way first. Find it through the main telescope here um, and get it centered in the eyepiece. Okay, so now it's centered in here. Now, if I was to look through the finder scope, I'm going to take these caps off. If I was to look through the finder scope here, I see the building, but it's not centered in the crosshair. So that's what these three screws around the perimeter are for. You just have to kind of experiment. Loosen one, tighten another and it adjusts the tip tilt of the finder until it's overlapping with what you see in here. So 
get it aligned there. And then the last step you do is just all three are kind of snug, so it's holding position. Verify that it's still there, because as you do the adjustment, you might move the telescope there. Okay, so now the crosshair sees exactly what's in the middle of the main scope. So now I can use the finder scope first to find the moon, to find the boat out there, whatever I'm looking at, and I'll know it will be in the field of view of my low power eyepiece. All right, well, there you have it. That was, uh, I told you it was gonna be the easiest setup of most of the telescopes we've got here. Uh, this is the GoScope 3, 70 millimeter. It's set up and ready to start observing. Thank you very much, clear skies.